What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back on TikTok and allow me to be your tour guide as we check out tattoo red flags. Not only for tattoo artists, but for tattoo clients as well. So let's see what we've got. Shut the f up. <laughs> All right, this first video says tattoo red flags for men. Let's see what she thinks. Time pieces, but bonus if there's a rose. All right, uh, I hate to agree with her, but these are just one of those tattoos that everybody has, but not only men, ladies do as well. So I don't know why she categorized this in the men. I see everybody getting these tattoos still to this day. And yeah, they may have been cool, once, a long time ago, but the more we see these tattoos, the more stale they become. And at this point, I feel like if you're still getting these kinds of tattoos, to me it just shows that you lack any sort of creativity, because you can think of anything else besides what everybody and their mother is getting, or father in this case, tribal tattoos. Now obviously there are several different types of tribal tattoos. I think she's talking about this one in particular, this very 90s-esque style tribal. They did get played out a lot, but I feel like they're almost making a resurgence and they're becoming cool again, which is kind of fun to see. However, this tattoo in particular isn't that well done. It's very splotchy and it doesn't even look centered on the arm, so that would be a red flag for me. Maybe at this point you could just black it out, but let's see what else she thinks. Blackout sleeves, what are you trying to hide? That shitty 90s tribal. Oh, I almost think you could see it on his shoulder up top. But regardless, I, I'm actually a fan of blackout tattoos. I think if they're done well, I think they look pretty cool. Now, if they're done poorly and blotchy, then it can really just look like turds. And at this point, they probably are trying to cover up a red flag tattoo. So uh, these are okay in my book. Wolf tattoos, you're not an alpha, chill. All right, I can kind of agree with this. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this as a lot of people love wolf tattoos, but I just think they're kind of boring, especially when they're set up like this. You've got a little bit of forest, uh, a little moon at the top. Again, it's just one of those things that I've seen a million times over again that kind of just lacks a little bit of creativity. The only thing this thing's really missing is a nice set of blue eyes. And as a matter of fact, we just talked about this a couple weeks ago. I mean, it kind of looks like the client just bought a shirt from Walmart, took it to the artist and said, Give me that. But I do think wolf tattoos can be cool if they're done right. Put your own spin on it and don't just copy somebody else's wolf tattoo that you find on TikTok. All right, let's check out this next one. What is a client red flag? When they show up with numbing cream. Ooh, when they show up with numbing cream. Now that's actually something that is a valid red flag because numbing cream can change the skin texture. Now some tattoo artists don't mind using numbing cream, but I would allow them to apply it themselves because only they really know what works with their process. And some artists will actually reschedule your appointment if you do show up with it on. But that's definitely something I would stay away from. Please don't put on numbing cream before you show up to your appointment. Always consult with your artist first. Don't be a dick. What's a client red flag? When you tell them the shop minimum, they still want you to go lower than that. Oh yeah, that's kind of a rough one. Any kind of hagglers. Nobody likes a haggler in the tattoo world. You get what you pay for. So if you want a cheaper, shittier tattoo, then by all means, haggle away. I do find that rude though. Artists generally know what their worth is worth. Huh? Wait a minute. Strike that. Reverse it. Artists generally know what their work is worth, so don't haggle. You're more than welcome to walk away and find an artist within your budget. What is a client red flag? When a client tries to tell me how to do my job. I've definitely dealt with that a time or two. I even had a wrestler kind of tell me, all right, now do this line. Okay, now do this line like this. Now this one like this. And it came to a point to where I just handed him the machine and said, if you want to do it, you're more than welcome. And he's like, nah, man, don't be that way. But it's rather annoying when somebody is literally telling you how to do your job and you know how to do it best. I'm not trying to tell you how to shoot steroids. Ah, you can feel it too. Anyway, let's see what else these guys are talking about. What's a client red flag? Drunk players. Come in drunk. Absolutely. That's definitely not something that any tattooer wants to deal with. Not only because you're a pain in the ass, but they can actually make your tattoos bleed a lot more if you are that drunk. Alcohol is a blood thinner, so if you're drunk, it's just going to ruin the entire experience for everybody. What is a client red flag? Um, people that move a lot. Like, people that just can't stop moving, like, they don't even know that they do it, but they just keep, they won't stop moving. Yeah. Even after you tell them, they still move. Right? <laughs> oh man, the people that move a lot, that bugs me a lot, especially when I'm working on something and I go to dip into an ink and then they do this. It's, just sit still and let the magic happen. It's actually gotten to a point to where I leave my left hand on the arm while I dip in the ink, specifically so they don't move. All right, next. Oh. She's back, and this time with the girls edition. So let's see what you have to say about that. Oh, cheetah print tattoos. This one just says you like to wear your underwear on your sleeve. <laughs> what the hell is that? 
Did you kill a cheetah? Oh. <laughs> I blinked there. Oh, the infinity symbol tattoo. Now, I generally don't mind infinity symbols as they are typically something that people get that don't have a whole lot of tattoos. We'll call it part of the tattoo starter pack, which also includes dandelion and horoscope tattoos. Collarbone tattoos. This is another tattoo that I really don't mind. I think they look cute and dainty. And they're also something that you could build on later to turn it into a chess piece, similar to what this girl has. I think she's just jealous. All right, let's see what else we've got. Ooh, tattoo red flags on girls. Coming from a guy this time. Let's see what he thinks. Hmm, <laughs> Cabbage Rose. She hits men. He's probably not too far off. Sounds like somebody's got a history. I'm pretty sure he found tattoos from all of his exes. And this rose actually says rose on it in case you actually did think it was cabbage. Speaking of red flags, he's also got some nautical stars on his shoulders, and those are the kind of guys I'd stay away from. Real quick, I want to take a break from this train wreck and talk about the sponsor of my channel, Mad Rabbit. Mad Rabbit is a tattoo aftercare company that has something for everyone. Whether you're a collector or artist, they've got you covered. And you can save 20% on your entire order by heading on over to madrabbit.com and using code PONY20. Check them out and treat your tattoos. All right, let's get back to the show. What is a client red flag? When they smell funky. Yeah, boy, don't be coming to the shop smelling funky. Wash your ass and feet. Wherever you're getting tattooed, make sure that area is super clean because nobody wants to be smelling funk all day. It'll just make us rush through your tattoo and neither one of us are gonna be happy in the long run. And that goes both ways. Don't be a dirty hippie tattooer. What is a client red flag? When they bring their whole family with them and then they mess up the design, they start switching things. Like that's a red flag. Yep, that's definitely one I can agree with. Typically, a guy or girl will bring their significant other and then they have a lot of input that goes into their tattoo. When in reality, that tattoo is gonna be there a lot longer than their significant other, especially if they're that demanding. Tattoos are the one thing you bring to the grave. You can't bring your old lady. If your SO can't trust you to make a decision on your own body, then what are we doing? What is a client red flag? Uh, probably when they ask you for like a medium, small size tattoo, that drives me a little bit crazy. I've definitely had that happen a handful of times as well. Somebody comes into the shop and asks for a medium sized tattoo. What does that mean? Medium can be anything bigger than small or smaller than big. Have a size set in inches or even compare it to an object, maybe say the size of a cell phone. All right, let's see what else we got. Tattoo Red Flag Woman Edition, blackout sleeves. Man, why do all these people hate on blackout sleeves? What are you trying to hide? An ex's name, most likely. Snake tattoos. Really? Really? I'm very surprised to see snake tattoos as being a red flag. There are so many different ways that you could make snake tattoos cool, so I'm not sure why that's on her list, unless she just really hates snakes. Tribal tattoos. Yep, we've already talked about that one, and this one is definitely in a different style. I'm not sure why people oppose tribal tattoos so much. You can tell that the artist took their time with this tattoo and form fit it to the body, so I'm not really sure why they decided to use this one in particular as a red flag. The poker face tattoo. You ain't cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to disagree here, even though she does have blue eyes. I really don't think this is a bad tattoo by any means. Even the style of this tattoo, it's kind of a classic West Coast style, and this is something that's been around forever, and it ain't going away anytime soon. Uh, I mean, Jessica, you've got a crown tattoo and a cabbage rose tattoo, so... Look who's talking. Anyway, let's see what's next. Tattoo artist red flags to watch out for. Ooh, not wrapping your machine. This is a big one, because these machines are used over and over again from client to client. So if you're not wiping down the machine, you're just passing on those germs or diseases that the last client had. Even if you wipe down your machine, those germs still find places to hide. Oh, touching their phone with their gloves. That's another huge one that I've seen a handful of times, and I would just want to smack the phone out of their hands. That's so disgusting. When you've got gloves on, don't touch anything. And putting ink bottles on your station. That's another one. Tattoo inks are generally stored out in the open or in a cabinet, but they are not sterile. There can be some dirt and bacteria on the bottom of these inks, so when somebody is placing their ink on your station, they're just passing on those germs and bacteria. Again, if your tattoo artist has gloves on and they start touching a lot of things, it can't hurt to say something. Here's tattoo red flags for artists and shops for no reason except for it just makes me feel icky. The first one is if they don't have an online portfolio, so either it's on Instagram or like website or anything like that, they have none of that, it's just in person, that's a no for me. Yeah, that would be a little weird if you don't know what your artist is capable of before going to them. I would definitely be nervous to see what I ended up with. Now, obviously a lot of times back in the day, there were no online portfolios, but if you did walk into a shop, you would generally see a paperback or some kind of hard book cover where you can look through and see their work. But you need something to showcase your work, whether that's online or in person. Tattoo flag number two is they have no healed photos. So there's nothing either on any of their portfolios that are healed, it's just fresh stuff. I think that's a good one. Especially when it comes to micro-realism or something with a lot of details, you wanna see how these tattoos heal up. And if they're not able to show you what their tattoos look like in six months, a year, five years from now, then I would definitely say that's a red flag. 
Red flag number three is all of the pictures are just white skin only or black and gray filter over it or like filters in general. I'm not exactly sure what she means by only white skin portfolio, but I know what she's talking about as far as the black and white filters go. If all you see is black and white photos and there's no really color photos that show the skin tone or the redness around the tattoo, that is a huge red flag for me because you want to see what these tattoos look like in person, not what these tattoos look like desaturated because nobody's looking at them like that. That's not real life. And I really think it gives you a false expectation because these tattoos still have to heal and they're only going to get lighter. Now that being said, if you want to showcase both the black and white image and the colored photo, I think that's perfectly acceptable. I do know that some people want to keep their page cohesive and they want it to all look the same. So on that aspect, I think I'll give you a pass. Number four is they don't require a deposit for their tattoo. I don't know how to explain this except for it just makes me feel weird. Like I feel like you deserve a deposit in case I cancel. I mean, as far as the tattooer goes, if they don't get a deposit from you, it's only their loss if you don't show up. But I could see how it would make you feel more secure with your appointment. Number five is uh, the most important one. This is the one that makes me feel the ickiest and it is because they are a man. I think you are a red flag, Tiffany. She, she really doesn't want to get tattooed by a man? I think that's what she's saying. Jesus Christ, like what? That's so weird. Everything was going fine until number five. Let me know how you guys feel about that. And on that note, I feel like we should wrap things up. Those are enough red flags for today. And let me know what your red flags are in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. It's free, and I still don't understand why only half of you are subscribed. So let's fix that. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you all next week.